back to Circuits from the Lab. My name is Monica from the Systems Development Group and today I will present you the ADFMC X Microwave Bridge Kit followed by a setup example and a software demo. This board is intended to realize connectivity between X Microwave and digitizers as well as research and development tools. System level prototyping with ADFMC X Microwave Bridge EBZ and X Microwave. Typical lab bench needed for prototyping has lots of components, wires, and lab instruments. The setup can be crowded and hard to debug. Higher frequencies, lower power consumption, smaller size requirements, and lower cost are constant pressures. However, we, analog geeks, love to solve challenging problems. X microwave blocks, modular RF, and microwave building blocks allow designers to seamlessly design, evaluate, prototype, and produce high performance RF and microwave systems faster, easier, and at a lower cost. At the moment, there is no common control path between the X microwave controller and an FPGA that can be used in controlling the hardware. This makes it difficult to merge and do reproducible tests on both kind of platforms. How does our product, the ADFMC X Microwave Bridge 1 EB kit, solve this problem? By creating an interface between the X Microwave protoplate and an FPGA device. It consists of two boards and ribbon cables, the FMC X Microwave Bridge board FMCX microwave protoplate interface board, ribbon cable for signals, and cable for voltage rails. Let's take a look at an example setup. 28 GHz 5G comms. The control unit in this case is the ADRV9009 RF SOM. The RF circuit built from the X microwave modular blocks is fixed on two protoplate boards. The setup features the analog devices ADMV1013 up converter and ADMV1014 down converter. It also includes the ADF5356 PLL with integrated VCO as the LO source. All parts are programmed with standard Linux IIO drivers developed by ADI. The ADFMC bridge is by definition an FPGA mezzanine card. This means it needs a carrier to plug into. The carrier setup requires a keyboard, an Ethernet cable and a power supply cable. In the carrier, we also insert an SD card with a corresponding Linux image. Make sure to also connect the display port. The ADFMC bridge has two connectors for the ribbon cables that go to the protoplate interface. Connect these cables before plugging the board into the FMC connector on the carrier. For this setup, the FMC bridge also needs an external power supply. The RF circuit is built from 5X microwave modular blocks featuring ADI parts. A SMA cable is used to connect the output of the up converter to the input of the down converter allowing a loopback configuration. The protoplate interface board is mounted on the X microwave prototyping plate using the screws and then connected to the FMC bridge with the cables provided in the kit. The RX1 and TX1 channels of the RF SOM 
are connected with SMA cables to the corresponding channels of the X microwave setup. Take Swan to the up converter input and Eric Swan to the down converter output. Next, we open IIO oscilloscope that we will be using to control the TX and RX channels of the RF SOM. In the capture window, enable voltage 0I and voltage 0Q. These correspond to RX1 channel. Set the plus type to frequency domain and start the data capture. Enable peak markers for easier reading of the frequency. The RF SOM generates a signal that goes into the up converter IF input and is mixed with an LO generated by the PLL. The obtained RF signal is down converted then received by the RF SOM. This signal is visible in the spectrum plotted by the IIO scope. Using IIO attributes, you can control the devices integrated in the X microwave blocks. Open a terminal window and find the IP of your host. List the available devices From the list of available devices, you can connect to any of them, for example, the ADF5356 synthesizer. Here, you can read or write the device channel attributes. In this example, the PLL output frequency is changed from 6.8 GHz to 6 GHz. Access another device. In this case, the ADMV1013 op converter. You can list all its channel attributes and then modify them. For example, the device power down attribute, when set to 1, the entire chip is turned off and the signal disappears from the captured spectrum. To sum everything up, there will be available a common control path of the X microwave modules either from the FPGA, X microwave controller, or even a Raspberry Pi. This way, the same setup built on the protoplate can be evaluated with different tools and the user will be able to do reproducible tests since the only thing changing is the control unit. For more information, you can visit analog.com.